Hi everyone, this is Esteban. Today we want to look at some of the different structures available through our website. Again, you can download these and modify. They all get drawn using the SketchUp Design software along with the FlexPipe Creator extension. Today we want to look at the different types of flow racks and some of the features to look out for when making these types of structures. Okay, so for the first one, we're going to go ahead and pick the production picking GFR. Again, this here could be uh, very useful in the production uh, when needing to get rid of uh, empty containers as soon as possible. So this is a return line on the top. That's the one takeaway that we want to think about here. And then the second one is going to be the angled on the um, presentation there with those bins, maybe an open bin, an open box with a part or a piece. This is kind of the idea that you want to maybe think about when looking at these types of structures, okay? So from there, again, we're using the uh, stoppers there in order to be able to prevent the bin from uh, continuing to slide. So this is basically where it's going to end. And then from there, again, we're using the dividers on the backside as well in order to prevent the two different types of bins which may be placed side by side, okay? So we wanna keep them in their particular track. So that's the idea there. From there, let's look at the flow rack or the supermarket marketplace rack, whichever way you want to call it. Again, this is high density type of structure. You want to be able to fill up a lot um, of different types of material boxes in an empty or in a particular space. Again, this is kind of like a mini stock room. If you will, you want to get it as closer to the operator or the employee as possible. So this is going to reduce transportation time and essentially maybe even getting rid of forklifts at some point or another. OK, so that's the idea with the supermarket. Again, uh, we're dividing it into sections to reduce the length of the span and then from there we're using HJ13 connectors to double up uh, and, and get those two parallel joints together, those two parallel pipes together in order to be able to really uh, strengthen the front portion of this rack which is really where the main weight is going to rest. Okay so that's the idea there and then from there using the stationary feet to keep it nice and low and stable. And that's the idea with the uh, supermarket, okay? So it's a mini, mini stock room uh, in order to reduce transportation time. From there, let's look at the uh, L-shaped flow rack. Um, the main takeaway here is really if you're dealing with a tight space in which you're limited to a space, essentially, uh, we want to be able to uh, maybe use this L shape in order to utilize that particular amount of space that you may be dealing with and also the L shape gets um, parts or pieces really close to the operator uh, as possible. So that's the idea there with tight spaces in order to be able to work and utilize that is to be able to go ahead and create an L shape uh, structure in which again we're looking at a return on the bottom part of this structure and then it's getting fed material on the top portion so that's the idea with those l-shaped flow racks there from there we move into this dynamic line uh, one piece flow setup of a structure in which we have long eight foot section structures being joined together and then we create a continuous flow rack from one end to the opposite end and this is going to essentially uh, limit any um, time wasted uh, with any unnecessary movement. I can every operator, every uh, employee here is going to focus on one particular task, get it done and get it over to the next step. And from there, it's going to essentially continue that line, that production flow until it is finished on the opposite end. So everybody has a particular task and this is going to reduce any wasted time during the production. Okay, so that's a very cool, very interesting uh, setup there, very uh, Toyota-like system in which, um, or subway system in which everybody has a particular task. So that's a nice one there. From there, let's have a look at the next one over. And uh, this one here is the L shape, or a, rather a workstation with a gravity fed rack. So basically the idea here is this is a bit of a hybrid, but the idea is to incorporate a workstation with uh, and be able to feed material, uh, raw material from, from the one end in order to be able to receive it from the front. Again, reducing any wasted time moving and searching for parts or pieces. It all gets fed directly to the workstation. And at the same time, you're freeing up or uh, using up 
the space available in a very nice and productive way, which is basically using up as much uh, as minimum amount of space within a particular section of your factory. So that's the idea with all of these structures here is just to be able to look at the features and then see which one works for you. Again, they're all available on the website. So that's the idea. Utilize it, take a look and figure out which one works for you. Download them, modify them and really detail those little um, minor details that you may need to change in order to have that prototype become a working structure. So that's the idea with all of these. Uh, take care and I'll see you guys next time.